name is David, and this is my beautiful wife, Becca. Welcome to Change Your Life Fragrances. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Make sure you leave a big thumbs up if you like this video, and comment, and make sure you subscribe for more content. And make sure you hit that bell button so we can pop up in your <laughs> notifications. With that being said, is there anything you need to say to the people? Yes, so we love communicating with you guys, as you know, and so we wanted to know what you wanted reviewed next. So we went on the Do A Facebook page and asked, and you guys expressed that you wanted to see a review on Poseidon's Desire Two. So that's what we're gonna give you. Mm -hmm. Poseidon's Desire Two. There you go, honey. Thanks. So basically, for those that are new to our page or new to Duo's fragrances. Basically, uh, uh, the CEO guy uh, by the name of Masa likes to basically just come up with ideas mm -hmm. from all top of the noodle. Yeah. And uh, he likes to imagine the best of the best, top tier mm -hmm. colognes and perfumes and mm -hmm. just meshing them together and making a great composition out of them. Yep. And uh, he did it again. Yep. <laughs> so this one is inspired by Poseidon's, which is uh, Dua's version of Creed Aventus, mm -hmm. and it's also inspired by Desire 2, which is inspired by Zerzhov's Cruz Del Sor 2, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. There you go. So guys, right off the top, you get that um, ripe mango flesh, that bergamot, you get that crisp apple. Definitely some pineapple, uh, pink berries, birch, and musk. Mm -hmm. um, so it definitely opens up on more of that Poseidon side, that Creed side. Um, and then as it starts to dry down, you definitely get more of that desire side mm -hmm. to the, those sweeter tones. So the ripe mango flesh is definitely more vibrant. And that jasmine, that vanilla, uh, that tropical guava, uh, floral notes, dried fruit, and then that cedar wood, which kind of blends it all together. Great it's really that. nice, yeah. Um, and it's it's just beautiful. Yes. It's it's a beautiful tropical fragrance, and I love that it's not the typical like coconut tropical fragrance. Yeah, or just pineapple, just mm -hmm. base fragrance. Yeah. Uh, this one is uh, a balance of pineapple mm -hmm. and uh, mango. You get a little bit more of that pineapple uh, on the opening, mm -hmm. and then you get a little bit of that uh, uh, mango, that mm -hmm. ripe flesh. Uh, of the mango yeah. kind of just uh, sitting around, mm -hmm. leaving its aroma around and yep. kind of just projecting. Yeah. There. So yep. uh, I, I would say, sorry, I no, would also ahead. say uh, on top of that, I would say the vanilla kind of smoothens everything yeah. out a little Definitely. bit with the mango mm -hmm. and the pineapple. And it just gives it a really good balance, a nice, smooth, mm -hmm. uh, very smooth, uh, mature, scent profile yeah. to this fragrance so it's, it's a great great mm -hmm. fragrance all around yeah and i love that as we were um smelling this from the initial spray to the dry down it was almost like a roller coaster yeah. um Ooh. and yeah so like <laughs> the beginning was almost like they're dating yeah. so like they have differences but they're trying to figure out where they fit in each other's lives uh what scent profiles go first so it's kind of clashing so like the beginning was honestly not that smooth it was a little messy. um yeah yeah. And then as it went on, uh, I would say like 10 minutes later, mm -hmm. um, it was almost like they got engaged. So the sweeter part, like that desire part started coming out. Things started to fall into place. It got a little smoother. Mm -hmm. And then we checked back, say like 45 minutes later, and um, it definitely got a lot smoother. It's like they got oh. married. They found their places in each other's lives. Like it's just that journey was kind of beautiful yeah. to see and just... Just see how creative you have to be when making a fragrance. Right. Because um, it definitely shows in the notes. It gives it depth. It mm -hmm. gives it different contrast. Yeah. It, uh, it's just a very appealing scent. Yeah. It's a nice, I would say it's a little, it has a little seductiveness to it, right? It's yeah. A little, it's a little sexy. It's a sexy fragrance. So yeah. It's, it's, it has some sexiness mm -hmm. to it some spunkiness yep so this is yep. a great fragrance uh in my opinion i would say this leans more feminine mm -hmm. than masculine so this is a great scent profile to me for a female mm -hmm. and uh yeah women you guys have fun with this not saying the men can't wear this yep. people wear whatever you want to wear mm -hmm. so at yeah. the end of the day uh, my opinion on this one is it's more feminine than masculine mm -hmm. but it's a great scent a great scent yeah 
Yep, and it's, I honestly can't stop smelling this. It is so good. Um, and I wanted to test out the longevity today. Um, and so I wanted to work to work to see, because a lot of my, uh, my regulars, people that come in, they will let me know, oh, that's a really good fragrance or something like that. And especially like working in a restaurant, working around food, if, if a fragrance can last all through my shift, that's telling a lot mm -hmm. because it's also competing with the, the um, scents from the food yeah, that I'm around yeah. constantly carrying or the drinks that, that I'm carrying. Or other scent profiles and, other people are wearing. Yeah, so the that's true. Is cutting through all that, mm -hmm. so it's nice to get compliments. Yeah, so I sprayed um, three to four sprays, I believe, this morning. Um, and seven and a half hours later, I was still getting compliments on it. Okay. Um, and it was to the point to where I was thinking, oh, the, the longevity isn't great on this because mm. I was getting a little nose blind to it. Um, but then, I don't know, on that last compliment I got, I'm like, oh, it must still be there. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Um, and I love that it's not overpowering. So, so it sounds like you went kind of nose blind to this one. Yeah, yeah, which... It's not always, <laughs> yeah, it's not always great, but at the same time, I love that it, the surprise compliments. And let's just wait until this macerates. You know? Yes. Once we'll this see. macerated, probably just get it stronger. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that's uh, how this matures as time goes by. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really see anything else to say about this one mm -hmm. other than I feel like this is what Creed for her should have been. Yes. So, like, You're right. Yeah. Yeah. This would have been the idea for me is. When they mm -hmm. made Creed, it was more so me thinking it was going to be more of a Creed Aventus base mm -hmm. from more so, a, you know, a undertone type of thing yeah. mixed in with like pineapple and mm -hmm. mango to kind of feminize this scent a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that's what this did. So mm -hmm. this seems more so like what Aventus for her should have been or yes. should have been. And I, I'm not going to lie, I was never a huge fan of Creed. Um, and that kind of hurts to say just because I know a lot of people love it. Um, but there was just something a tiny bit off-putting to me. Um, I don't know if it was like just the pineapple or just like the, I don't know if it was just too masculine, but, mm -hmm. um, but with this one, I was a little nervous cause I was like, well, maybe I won't like it as much yeah. because of that aspect. But I think that's the aspect that makes me love it. Um, yeah. cause I love the sweeter fragrances, but then that that Creed side or that Poseidon side of it really evens it out. I think what gives women an issue with uh, Creed mm -hmm. more so like to really, to have that appeal to them would mm -hmm. more so be like that pineapple, not not the pineapple, sorry, the pine. That pine, yeah. piney smell. Yeah. Uh, that can be off-putting and mm -hmm. I understand why that could be off-putting. Mm -hmm. But some of the, you know, Creeds yeah. out there, the different batch variations, they're all different so mm -hmm. they smell different because they're all different yeah. in the way of That's having a great point. more birch in it or more pineapple, mm -hmm. juicy pineapple or more smoke, whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that's kind of what takes away from that appeal. It's more yes. of the pine, that piney smell. Yeah, that's a good so. point because I think that's what I think it's that combination of that pine with that pineapple mm -hmm. that I feel and that smoke. don't yeah don't go great together. But that's just preference. I know a lot of people love it. So, so um. But with that said, I think we should probably just get to the rating. Because yes. You definitely did a good job. Explaining <laughs> <Okay>. that. <laughs> Absolutely. So. Thanks. Um. <laughs> I would personally rate it like a 92. You give it a 92? Yes. I am in love with this fragrance for summer and spring. It, I mm. feel like it is the perfect tropical fragrance. And I agree with her. Mm -hmm. I do still believe this is, like I said, more feminine. Mm -hmm. uh, this I will be putting on myself. So yeah. for you guys out there, like I said, don't be scared to mm -hmm. try this one. I myself mm -hmm. will be giving this one wearings mm -hmm. and I'll test it out. And, We'll see how it goes yeah. from there. But as of now, that's a great fragrance. Yes. And one more thing I wanted to touch on mm -hmm. um, is that it is really versatile, guys. So you can wear it to church. It's not offensive. Um, it's calm enough to where it's not too striking, but striking mm -hmm. enough. And then you can even wear it like going to the bar, going you know, out with friends. So that's also why I rated it so high is because of how versatile it is. So there you have it, guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, ladies. Yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. Thank you, guys.